I want to take this opportunity in welcoming our, uh, His Excellency, the Egyptian Ambassador to Australia, Mahmoud Zaid. Hi and welcome to Australia, sir. Thank you very much for having me and uh, I would like to convey my best wishes to uh, all the viewers and to uh, all the people of Australia and all uh, Egyptians and Arabs living in Australia. You uh, arrived in Australia back in 2019, in December, That's and uh, you took up your uh, position as the ambassador, the Egyptian ambassador, and other, um, I, I think that includes New Zealand, that includes uh, Papua New Guinea and, and other territories. So uh, we want to welcome you again. Um, how did you feel when they said, um, uh, sir, uh, you have a new position in, in Australia? How did you feel about that? Oh, great. Uh, it's a great honor and pleasure to uh, serve as ambassador to Australia. And um, I, I'm um, actually not accredited to New Zealand. Yes. Because now Zealand has a resident ambassador. Uh, I actually had the honor with my colleagues to re-establish the Egyptian embassy in Wellington, New Zealand in 2010. Yes. Because Egypt had an embassy a long time ago in, in New Zealand, but it was closed in 1988 right. uh, for economic reasons. Uh, and at that time, New Zealand didn't have an embassy in Cairo. But when New Zealand opened an embassy in Cairo in 2006, uh, and there were negotiations to uh, uh, re-establish the Egyptian embassy. Uh, so the Egyptian embassy was actually re-established in 2010. Yeah. And uh, uh, we now have uh, my successors. Uh, I have... Uh, um, uh, I stayed in New Zealand from 2010 to 2015. I started as a chargé d'affaires, meaning acting ambassador, from 2010 to 2013. And then I was appointed ambassador from 2013 to 2015. And then now Egypt, since then, has a, a resident ambassador in New Zealand. So I'm not covering New Zealand from here. I'm uh, uh, covering six uh, Pacific countries from New Zealand. Uh, from sorry from Australia, but not including New Zealand. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and when I when when I was uh, when I uh, learned that I'm coming to uh, to Australia, I was very happy because um, this is uh, a very beautiful part of the world and uh, a place that is uh, close to my heart. And um, uh, if you serve in New Zealand or Australia, you, you're, you're very lucky. And it's an honor to serve my country and to uh, represent my country uh, in Australia. And uh, I look forward to uh, serving the uh, uh, community here. Thank you. I uh, like again. Um, we know that um, one of the things that uh, we encountered globally was the COVID-19. Uh, your right. um that has dampened quite a bit about the enthusiasm and the, uh, uh, the love for traveling and, and especially Egypt, because uh, Egypt uh, is well renowned for it being a, one of the hottest tourist uh, attraction places. COVID yes. dampened that. Um, yes. But the one thing that, um, um, so there hasn't been too many visas been issued, but we're all almost there. We're both, I think we've got a bubble between Australia and New Zealand. Right. And that's going to be very, very um, welcoming because now we can travel to our brothers and sisters in New Zealand. Uh, going back to uh, Egypt uh, and its tourism um, and the whole industry and Egypt in large, uh, Your Excellency, uh, Mr. Mahmoud, um, the recent event about the mummies has yes. enormous love and fascin fascin uh, fascin fascination, again, I'll go on, um, uh, yes. about Egypt again, because I, I think I'm, uh, we're all emotional about 
what we saw as the Royal Parade. And um, so that in itself was absolutely great. To listen to musicians, singers, um, singing in, 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 in the old Egyptian um, tongue was incredible. It were never been heard of. Um, so I think that's going to be a catalyst uh, for yes. tourism in Egypt. <clears throat> Absolutely. I think the event was uh, very well uh, planned and very well managed. And everyone who uh, invo was involved in it did their uh, part uh, in an exemplary manner indeed. So it was a very successful event and uh, 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 it reminded the tourists, potential tourists with the uh, with what they might expect from a uh, future visit to Egypt. I mean in Egypt there is a lot of fascination with the uh, with the uh, culture and the uh, history and the uh, treasures of the uh, ancient Egypt. But at the same time, there is interest in the beaches and the resorts. Uh, so uh, at least the first kind of interest is satisfied with, uh, with this uh, parade, which was televised around the world. So uh, it gave the world a glimpse of, uh, of uh, the uh, opportunities uh, that they have when they visit Egypt uh, of witnessing the history and the, uh, the, 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 fascinated, the fascinating uh, uh, places and treasures. So uh, I think this is a, a very good preparation for what is going to happen after we uh, get over the uh, COVID restrictions. Yes. I, I must say, as we talk or talking about COVID, is that I uh, very much admire the success of the of Australia in handling the uh, the, the COVID nineteen uh, crisis, uh, both from the health point of view and also from the economic point of view. So uh, we, I must congratulate. I feel I should congratulate the government of Australia, but also the people of Australia, for uh, giving a very good example on dealing with the. Uh, uh, with the uh, with the COVID nineteen, and the same also applies to New Zealand. Yes. So that's why we are lucky now that we are uh, uh, actually witnessing it's almost COVID free. So uh, I hope that this will be capitalized on, and uh, 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 at a certain stage, I hope that the rest of the world also will be COVID free. And then the people will enjoy traveling uh, again. Uh, and also, uh, I look forward to uh, receiving tourists in Egypt, uh, reviving the tourism sector, because there's uh, a lot that we are missing. Everyone is missing by not by this uh, 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 halt on, uh, on uh, tourism uh, to Egypt and uh, to other countries as well. Yes, yes. I, the, the, you, you're quite right, Your Excellency, in that um, uh, we followed very strict guidelines and um, like New Zealand, uh, we, we uh, got down to the business of uh, not going anywhere, um, staying at home. So I, it is a good point that you've made. It's both a, a directive from the government and also the people adhering to that directive. So it's very commendable for on both. Um, you know, the, the, the parts of Egypt, as we know it is, um, we all have the fascination of the, the, uh, uh, the archeology span of Egypt. Uh, yes. the, and, the, and also the, uh, middle, uh, the, um, the Mediterranean side, the beach side, the, the, from the Suez side and from Alexandria side, and then we talk about the wonderful, beautiful building construction that's happening over Marsamatruh side. Um, mm -hmm. And that really have come a long way uh, as a hot uh, touristic uh, spot. Yes. It's, it's very fascinating indeed. Um, today we just learned in our news, currently today, uh, 
been Friday, we learned about the golden city as well. So um, Egypt has more than one golden city. And I have to, um, you know, uh, uh, again, congratulate all the archaeologists um, who keep on finding the absolute civilization, the cradle of civilization of Egypt. The fascination about the civilization in Egypt, um, I think that's uh, instilled in us, in the yes. whole individual person around the world. Yes, I think there, has, there have been many fascinating discoveries uh, throughout the last few months. And uh, uh, every time you get Every now and then, you, we, we, we find a new discovery, uh, and uh, uh, we find that there is a lot about the old Egyptian civilization that we haven't yet uh, come across and discovered. So, I th yes, it's uh, very uh, interesting, and I, I think it will stimulate uh, uh, interest in visiting Egypt soon after the uh, uh, restrictions are eased up or lifted completely. Yes, well, I'm really looking forward to um, catch physically doing a face-to-face -face with your excellency when you do come and visit us in Melbourne soon, inshallah. Inshallah, it would be a great honor and pleasure. Um, we've learned uh, uh, from his excellency, Consul General uh, Yasser Hashim, um, the yes. Grand uh, Egyptian, the, the GEM, and I love the acronym GEM, Grand Egyptian yeah. Museum, wonderful. Um, that's uh, opening soon in October uh, 2021 yes. this year. Um, yes. I was on Google um, a couple of days ago, and I'm, I was trying to find out uh, in physical location as to where the new capital city and how far the capital city is and where the, um, the national, uh, um, they call it the, um, the museum, the, the the NMEC, National Museum of Egyptian Civilization. Yes. So it's only seven kilometers, right. uh, not that far from Cora because. Yeah. The, yeah. Yes. The, 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 the Museum of Egyptian Civilization is a few kilometers from the city center. Yes. From uh, where, where the uh, uh, main museum uh, is. Uh, and it's not also we've lost him. I was I think we've lost his excellency very far from the uh, area uh, uh, we, we just lost you for a few seconds so I do apologize something went uh, uh, no, that's fine um so um, just to, for our listeners um, on the radio and soon on YouTube uh, with this video, um, when you look at the map of Cairo, you've got yes. so many museums in, in close proximity of each other. The new yeah. capital yeah. city is like, you know, it's about 45 kilometers from Cairo and it's to the west, isn't it? The, the, uh, the capital city is to the east of Cairo, actually. Right, east, yep. yes. The new capital. So, uh, still within 50 kilometers from uh, uh, downtown Cairo, so uh, still accessible uh, easily right. from yeah. downtown Cairo. Particularly that uh, Egypt is uh, embarking on uh, many infrastructure projects and roads and flyovers and uh, transportation uh, projects so that. Uh, 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 it would be easy to uh, go around in um, in Cairo. One of the remarkable achievement, and I have to take my hat off for uh, the president El Sisi. Um, yes. The Tahrir Square, if I may, Your Excellency, Tahrir Square has got, has had this image globally of what Tahrir Square, with thousands of people there saying, "We want the right thing for Egypt." But now, Tahrir Square is so peaceful. And that yes. in itself, just to see the image, you know, the, the, the sound bite, the, the image bite in our uh, brain about it, yes. what it was, what it is now. And it is so, trans the transformation is remarkable. So we, we have to congratulate the government, the Egyptian government, for 
achieving such a goal, to achieve yes. that step. So well done. And Tahrir Square looks absolutely beautiful with the parade going through it. It is absolutely uh, fascinating and uh, uh, the government uh, gets things done, which is very good. So uh, there are achievements and uh, uh, there are uh, uh, targets and uh, time limits for achieving these targets. And everybody is working very hard. And that's the key to uh, uh, developing and succeeding is to work very hard uh, give uh, attention to detail, uh, look after the, uh, 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 the time frame for achievement, as well as the quality of, uh, of the works achieved. So uh, the key word is to work hard, work as a team, yes. and hope for success. I think that's remarkable. I think, I think a, a lot of... Um, ticks now have gone on to the scoreboard uh, to Egypt. Well done and uh, well done to you and your office and also to the greater office of Egypt. Thank you so much Thanks. for allocating your time, Your Excellency. It's my pleasure. Thank you very much. Thank you.